So I have a question and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you ever delete photos? I have a big time issue with deleting photographs. If I've taken a photo, chances are 99.999% I still have it. Now, if say I'm out on a shoot or I'm just messing around somewhere and I'm shooting away and I happen to look down and I see I don't like it, maybe I'll delete it then, but probably I won't. I'll probably just leave it on the card and go from there. Now, once I actually upload all my photos to my computer, the chances of them permanently, ble permanently being deleted from that point are extremely, extremely small. Why I like keeping every single photo, I don't really know. Now, keeping the keepers is probably pretty common. If, say, you're you know shooting your family or shooting somebody else's family or you're shooting something for a client, then it's pretty common to keep all those photos, the keepers and the edited photos and the good photos um, in your files just in case. Not only do I hold on to the keepers, but I don't even delete the bad files. If it's a file that I'm looking at and it's really not usable at all or I don't ever plan to use it, I keep it. Why? I have no really idea. I just hate deleting them. I guess it's because I like, uh, once I capture a moment, I don't really want to lose it. Um, storage is pretty cheap, so that's not really too big of an issue, but it'd be awfully nice and a lot easier to go through your old archive of photos if you didn't have all those uh, not so good shots in there. Also, another issue is that not all the time, but most of the time, I will shoot RAW on one card and JPEG on the other. And there are several reasons for that. Most of the time, you just use the RAW photo, but it's nice to have the JPEG as well. Um, but So not only am I keeping the RAW file, which are huge files as they are, you also have the JPEG, which is just a duplicate of the RAW, but the JPEG, which the files on those aren't nearly as large, but whenever you're taking literally tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of photos, that really does add up over time. It's also important to back up all your files. So I have my normal work computer that I have most of my images on, at least over either the ones that I use quite often or the ones that I've shot, say, over the last four to six months, something like that. Once they get old and they're not really photos that I really plan on referencing or needing anytime soon, I will normally uh, back up them on either an external hard drive like one of these or also sometimes on an older computer that I use as an external hard drive that I don't really use much um, for processing or web or uh, documents or anything like that. Normally I just use it basically as an external hard drive. I try to keep at least uh, two backups of each one. So I'll have the photos on my current computer that I use all the time and then I will also try to keep two more. So one on say this one and then maybe one on this one or another external hard drive or something like that. So I guess my question to YouTube land out there is do you keep all of your photos? Um, do you keep just the keepers and throw away all the junk? Or even the keepers, do you just keep those for kind of a little while and then throw those away afterwards? Do you keep RAW and JPEG? Another thing that I also do is not only do I keep, say I, uh, it's a RAW file and I run through it and I edit it and it's perfect and then it, at the end of it it comes out JPEG and it's beautiful, I don't ever plan on editing that again, it's the final product, I like keeping the raw for that as well. In case I wanna go through and edit later, or I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. Do you guys do that, or is that just a me thing? So let me know what you think, I'd love to hear. You can either comment below or you can message me. As always, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.